Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jeff with the Collector Car Network. That's AutoHunter.com, ClassicCars.com, and The Journal. And we're here with Barrett Jackson at the 2022 Las Vegas Auctions. Today, we're going to look at something very special. That is this 1930 Ford Model A two-door sedan uh, that is obviously a hot rod. It's highly customized, and it was actually built in Nagoya, Japan. So, going through some of the details here, with first off, this hot rod has a name, it's called Rod Riguez, which is kind of an interesting thing, but as you can tell just from looking at the front, it is far from a 1934. Some of the things that you can see from looking at the front here, it has some very highly detailed touches, which are actually a sort of a homage to the designer of the car, um, which again, this, the entire car was, everything was sourced and built in Japan. And then these uh, headlights here are actually from a 1959 Cadillac. So if you were wondering if they looked a little bit familiar, there you go. They've of course been uh, slanted, turned sideways, and added to the front. This car is powered by a 49 Oldsmobile rocket engine, which is producing approximately 303 horsepower and is hooked up to a four-speed hydromatic transmission. Now, checking out the entire body of everything, the car has been chopped and channeled, and everything on the vehicle is steel, so there is no extra bondo, no plastic bits, no anything like that. This hot rod was trying to be done as authentic as possible to what you would consider in sort of hot rod style, but obviously with some Japanese flair and what was inspirational at the time. Now, as you can see, this car actually does have disc brakes um, and a lot of other modern amenities and features for what you would want to see in your hot rod to make sure it feels safe, even though the original body and everything was built in the 1930s. Getting into the interior here is one of the other crazy things. No matter where you look, the car is just full of surprises. Inside of this interior is the four inch roof chop and this absolutely wild steering wheel. And of course you can see the uh, shifter for the transmission actually sits between your legs. So, as you can see from looking at the side here with the whole sort of side profile and everything that's going on here, the idea was to try and make it look like the fenders and some of the side profile was actually floating on the car. So a lot of the hardware and the mounting points are actually hidden behind everything and to try and give it a sort of clean, flush, floating look that's just a little bit unique. Coming around to the back here, so of course we have some more pinstriping and even the name for the car lifted on the back, but these taillights are actually from a 1958 Chevy. And so as you can see, these were also stolen or borrowed, I should say, and the car actually has a Chevy 10-inch, 10-bolt uh, posi on the back as well. So that's what you're looking at for hardware for the car. So this is just an absolutely crazy build. Um, it's a hot rod that you wouldn't find in the US because it was built in Japan, and yet somehow it's returned with all of its GM parts, and it's as authentic as it gets. And I think it's really interesting because it's a different take on what you typically see from the 1930 hot rod scene. So with that, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you could go ahead and hit that like button for us, we'd really appreciate it. And make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss more content like this in the future. If you're looking for a collector vehicle of your own, be sure to check out our online auction, autohunter.com. Or if you're looking for a marketplace, check out classiccars.com, our sister site, which has over 35,000 cars currently on the site. With that, thank you so much for watching.